What is going on everybody? It's your boy Jay Tizzle and today we are bringing you episode number five, I believe. I think it's number five of Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Guns for Dummies. Today's video we're going to be reviewing the Paladin Sniper Rifle, the HB50. And we're also we're giving you a little bonus today. Is I feel like you can't have a perfect sniping class without a perfect secondary. So we're going to be reviewing the Strife Handgun Pistol. So here is the Strife in gold. This is what it looks like. And then here is the Paladin Sniper in gold. So, so guys, make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video if you haven't seen the videos in the past and the other ones in the series. Be sure to go check out that playlist, the Guns for Dummies playlist. I upload these all the time. I'm trying to go through every single gun. And I'll go through DLC guns when they come out. Try to let you guys know what the best class setups are, in my opinion, uh, what their, their best abilities are, if they're better at close, long, medium. I show you the recoil patterns and all kinds of things. So make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video, get the, the video out there so other people can see the channel and the video as well. Make sure to sub to the, the channel if you are new and let's get into it. All right, so first and foremost, we're gonna do the recoil test and we're gonna start off with the Paladin Sniper Rifle. So this thing has five bullets in the clip. We're going to aim right here about chest high and we are going to not touch the right stick at all and we are gonna fire five shots. All right, so there's the recoil we're messing with. It gives you a nice little zigzag pattern. That's without holding our breath or anything. We're gonna do another one on the other side. Let's see what this looks like. Kind of the same pattern, just a little more spread out here. So we have the first shot, second shot, third shot, fourth shot, fifth shot. So it found its way back, and I think that has to do with the actual sway of the gun. Let's throw down, I didn't even do that. Let's throw down this, get some ammo. Next up, we're gonna do the Strife Pistol. We're gonna go ahead and knock out the recoil for this. We're gonna aim in here, do the same exact test. Don't touch the right stick at all, and here we go. Get on the other side. All right, let's check it out. So this one, we have a pretty tight grouping. This all would be within the chest. This one right here, you can see we're starting to make it out to the shoulder a little bit. It has a weird little spread right here. But I mean, I don't think it's anything too crazy. It looks like it can be controlled pretty easily. So yeah. The next test we're gonna do, we're gonna go over here to the post and we're gonna do our hip fire test. And we're gonna start off with the Paladin sniper rifle. We're going to shoot at this wall right here try to aim about chest height and let's fire five shots so you notice my gun aim actually went up just off of shooting those shots I was aimed like this and then I finished like that so here are the five bullets they're all within the circle but they're very very inconsistent very unpredictable Next up, let's do the strife. Let's wait for these bullets to disappear right here. Let's stand here. All right. And let's let it rip with the strife. Now, this is semi-automatic. I'm just spraying it very, very fast. Um, all of these are tight grouping. Decent little hip fire with it. Now, this gun's very, very strong. We're going to get into the stats after this, obviously. But this is a very strong gun. And that was a decent grouping for the hip fire test. All right, next up, we're gonna do our recoil at range test. And the way this one works is we're gonna aim at one target. We're gonna shoot without touching the right stick at all and compensating for the recoil. And then on the other one, we're just going to actually aim and trying to reduce the, the recoil by using our thumbstick. To start off, we're gonna work on this one with the Paladin. And we're gonna aim right here and we are not gonna hold our breath. Or should we hold our breath? I wonder if we should do that. All right, so for this one, we will do one holding our breath and one not holding our breath. So this is gonna be without holding our breath, not touching the right stick. And there we go. That is the grouping of the gun. One, two, three, four, five. Over here, we're gonna to try to compensate for the recoil 
and actually use the right stick without holding our breath with the sway and everything. So here we go. So pretty good shots, I think, right there without holding our breath. I don't even think we need to hold our breath for the test because those were all pretty decent. They're within the first three rings. Hold on, we'll, we'll do it again right here. We will hold our breath and see what that's like. And then, of course, we run out right there. There you go. All within the first few rings. And then when we ran out of breath, of course, that was pretty bad. So uh, it might be better just to snipe by doing this, by actually controlling the sniper yourself instead of holding your breath. I snipe when I hold my breath a lot. I, I used to hold my breath even quick scoping just because I was so used to it. I don't know why, but I think it's actually it might be better just to try to drag this across the body and take your shot. All right, next up, we're going to use the strike at range and see what the recoil is like without touching the right stick. Three, two, one. So that's what that looked like. Got a couple bullets up there at the top. And now we're going to use the right stick. And as you can see, we're all within, except for what looks like one bullet, we're all within the first two rings on the target. So that was pretty good. Lastly, we're going to do our long range test, and then we are going to meet you guys in the lobby to talk about stats. So I'll meet you guys there. All right, guys, here we are at the long range target. For this test, we are going to hold our breath, and we are going to try to hit all five shots while the target is moving. Um, when we do run out of breath, because we will eventually, we will try to drag our scope onto the target and try to hit it all five times and see what it's like at range with and without breath. So here we go. That was all five shots. I actually managed the breath really well right there. I let off after each shot. Um, next up, we're going to use the pistol. Let's see how this one goes. So I did notice with the pistol, this is one of the first guns that we've had this experience with that it was missing wide left and wide right right here. I think we had a couple shots that, that just went by it from the range. You see, you see that shot went top right? And we had another one right there that just went right above the right side of the face. So yeah, this, this gun actually obviously isn't the best at range, but I'm glad we actually saw something different. Um, a lot of these past guns we've been using, which are the, we've used the auger, which is super accurate. We've used um, the ICR, which is super accurate. And not only that, but we also used the Titan LMG, which is super accurate. So they all had kind of the same results as far as shooting the target at range. But we finally saw something different. But we finally saw something different. I'm kind of glad we did. So next up, guys, we're going to meet you in the lobby. We're going to talk about stats on both guns, go over the camos, and then create a class, then jump into a gameplay. See you guys there. All right, guys, we are back in the lobby, and here we go with the Paladin HB50. This is one of four snipers in the class. Now, as far as the description goes, it is a bolt-action sniper rifle with high damage, one-shot kill to the head, chest, and shoulders. And, of course, hold L2 or L3 while ADS steady. Let's talk about the damage a little bit. So as far as damage goes, it is number one in the class with 15. Um, second to that would be the Koshka sniper rifle, which has a little better, I think the, the Koshka sniper rifle is the best sniper in the classes to, or the sniper class to be honest. It has a fast mobility and um, it aims in very, very fast. But as far as power goes, the Paladin is the one you want. This is the 50 cal, this is what you need. So when it comes to range, they all have 16 range because they are sniper rifles. That is what they're made for. Um, fire rate, the Paladin is at 1. So the Paladin has the slowest fire rate in the whole entire class. Next up, we talk about accuracy. Paladin has 9 accuracy, which is last in the class as well. And then as far as mags go, we have 3 mags with 5 rounds in the mag, which is actually last in the class. So as far as stats, averaging out, the Paladin is the worst gun in the class sounds kind of crazy because it's a 50 cal and usually 50 cal is kind of what we like love in call of duty but this one is the worst sniper in the class so we're going to add that real quick not put any attachments on it yet let's talk about the strife so the strife is one of three pistols in the pistol class um as far as damage goes it is second only to the mozu which is a revolver gun so the strife is kind of like a two to three shot kill um 
the pending. So if you get a headshot, I think it's a two shot. Um, chest, I think it can be three or four, depending on the range. Um, the description says it's a semi-auto pistol, balanced damage with minimal recoil, and that is the truth. I enjoyed, I really enjoyed running around with this gun in hardcore free-for-all with no recoil and just headshotting people cross map. It was amazing. Um, let's talk about the the range on the gun. So as far as range goes, it is the highest range in the class because it has that balanced recoil, and I think the, the caliber that it shoots, it doesn't have any bounce to it. Straight shot, really fast, um, no recoil, great range. As far as fire rate, it is in second with eight. Mozu has seven and third, and then first is the RK7 with 12, which is a burst pistol. With accuracy, it is top of the class at 11, uh, second being the RK7. It has three mags, and then it has 12 per magazine, which is second in its class. And then the operator mod for this gun is a stiletto knife, which I'm guessing is kind of like a tack knife. I haven't checked it out yet. We might put that on just for funsies. All right, here we go. Let's make our class. So for the Paladin HB50, we notice a lot of hit markers. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to throw on high caliber, which is going to increase the damage from the stomach up. On snipers, it has that different effect, whereas on ARs and things like that, it gives you increased headshot accuracy. So we're going to put the high caliber on, and we might just rock only high cal, because I really want to rock the stiletto and see where that goes. So as far as camos, we have the hunt camo. This is the patrol, panther, monsoon, agitator, erd, bangle, Massacre, Red Tiger, Roller Rink, Mother of Pearl, Penthouse, Purple Hex, and Spectrum. This is what these all look like on the gun. My personal favorite is Roller Rink, you guys know that. And Gold, it just looks amazing all the time, so we're going to throw that on there, of course. Now for the pistol, here's the Hunt Camo, here's Patrol, Panther, Monsoon, Agitator, Erd, Bangle, Massacre, Red Tiger, Roller Rink looks amazing on everything that you put it on, Mother of Pearl, Penthouse, Purple Hex, and Spectrum. And here's the gold camo, of course. So here we go. We're to put the wild card on. Do we have a secondary operator? There it is, secondary operator mark. So we are going to put this one on, Stiletto Knife. Ooh, I don't know how this works, actually. That's going to be crazy. So there's that. As for attachment, we are just going to put on. Let's do let's do suppressor. Let's do suppressor, and then for perks, we are going to do dead silence. And do I want to do both? Ooh, I kind of want to do both. I kind of want to do both. I want to do dead silence and ghost. I kind of want to do lightweight. Let's do lightweight. Oh, this is tough for me. I don't know what I want to do. I think we have to just do dead silence. I mean, might as well. And then over here, we're going to do... Let's do... Acoustic sensor. I haven't used this, so this will be fun to use. But here we go. This is the class we're going to rock. We're going to use the Paladin HB50 with high cal. We're going to use the Shrike with a silencer and a stiletto. Acoustic sensor, lightweight, dead silence. And there we go, guys. Hope you guys enjoy this little class setup. We're going to jump right into the gameplay. Enemy attack deploy beacon destroyed. Hostile UAV circling. Broken, dude. What was the range on that? All right, I might just do that. To be honest, I might just stab people. Be advised, hostile attack deploy beacon active. All right, hopefully this is a better game. I'm, I'm putting a second game in here. I'll put the highlights from the last one because. Dude, they were just trying to spawn trap, and it just wasn't fun. They were trying super hard. Looks like everybody on my team has a sniper. I don't know about the guy on my left or my right. Um, 
told me this is a better gameplay. This thing is crazy. This is actually a, uh, an insane little tool here. I think the range on it is way further than what it should be. Stab him. Let me stab him. Enemy has me. Serif kill. Securing Bravo. I think crap. That's different. I would like to know that. They were here like everyone's footsteps. Losing C. I hear like everyone's footsteps with acoustic sensor. I just don't like the that it shows me where they are type deal. And I suck with the powder. I am so much better with the Kashka. Noise right there. If you hear that noise, that means that someone with diamond camo is on a gun streak. Losing Bravo. We have the advantage. Lost Bravo. Go. Securing B. Was there a body right there on the ground that I didn't I didn't get? It's a nice little triple right there. Five and four, dude. I haven't got a single sniper kill. Be secure. Except for that one. Hostile down. Enemy UAV above. <laughs> Stabbing people in the water. There's blood in the water. Get that guy right quick. Hit marker, chest up, hit marker. Wow. Net call. Hostile hellstorm inbound. Let's come for a Be advised, hostile attack deploy beacon active. Sarah, KIA. Losing Bravo. Those shots. Medical override system available. Yeah, like right around there. Taking Bravo. Enemy UAV above. Stab. Stab. Let's go, baby. Call that UAV in. UAV standing by. <laughs> I love this thing, dude. You guys might just get this type of game, but oh, he shredded me. Okay, you, you guys might just get a, a knife only. Bro, how much fun are you having back here? Losing Bravo. Enemy took Bravo. He's gotta be having a great time. Taking Charlie. Where's Bia? 25. But they're losing the game. Hostile UAV circling. This gun's so bad. Dude. One enemy has alpha. I feel like that. The actually is actually off. Net call. Hostile hellstorm inbound. Stand here. Q stores open. Mission 
mission goals are in sight. Bring this home. Hostile attack deploy beacon online. Hiring system. Hostile UAV that? circling. Okay. That shot's not happening. You back up a little bit. Like what's happening? Be locked down. All right. What a kill! Let's see if we get a little triple right here. Let's see if we get the triple on uh, the kill cam. No, oh, we didn't. Do it again and we wow. Let's see what Phoenix Slayer did. Three. He got, he got four and a flag. Don't tell me he gets five. And a flag. Secure the objectives. All right. UAV migrating Alpha. Enemy took C. We pulled ahead. I suck so much at sniping. I think I just need to give you guys the review and then like play bots. George Diaz. What is he right now? 22 and 7. He's having a wonderful time playing this game. See ya, puppy. We've lost control. Okay. Taking B. This is why it's so hard for me to snipe. It really is. Because, like, I just. Painting targets. Like, how are you supposed to play it? When you're bad and get your one shot kills and stuff. How do you stay motivated for this? Look at this. I can't even see this guy. My teammate. We're winning this. Q stores open. Enemy UAV above. Okay, got something going. Okay, okay, okay. Lost Bravo. Bravo secure. Battery removed. Kinda nutty, huh? Okay, I missed that shot. They're spawning here though, it's okay. Battery kill. Let's go, baby. Caught him in the spawn. Maybe this is upload worthy. <laughs> this guy right here on our base, though. AJ Smasher, come on. Closing B. Damn, dude. <laughs> Put so many shots into that guy, I feel like. I mean, I didn't miss a lot, but. Losing B. Attack on established hellstorm above. We're behind. Taking Alpha. Assault packs down. Alpha locked down. Sky spots. 34 kills. We've taken the lead. Losing B. Lost Bravo. Where are you? How are you even seeing me, dude? Sky spots is a maniac. I actually convinced Sky spots has some sort of aimbot. B locked down. 
Stabby stab. Deploying laser wire. Losing feet. Be advised, hostile attack before you can act. Enemy attack before you can destroy. Try to get five, dude. Can you imagine I get all five right there? Stabbing people up with this gun, dude. It's insane. That shot right there. If I could hit that shot, that would have been okay. Man, oh man. The stabby stabs with the knife or the knife are just they are making this gameplay for me. They really are. Wait. Wait. I stabbed at him twice. What happened there? Oh well, that's GG. That's GG's partner. Let's go, 34 and 23. Oh man, they get a lot of sniper kills, but we got a lot of stabs. No kill streaks, so I'll take that gameplay. Um, you guys probably heard the, the computer beep, so. Yeah, sorry about that. If you heard the little notification, I was rendering a video. I don't know how to turn that off. I'll figure that out now. But yeah, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'm glad we got a win. I'm glad we got out of the sweaty mosh pit of a game. And we started getting you guys some stabs with the stiletto. The stiletto is awesome. That's the first time I've ever used it. You guys saw it here first. Definitely a go-to creator class. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up on the video if you did. Um, this was a two-in-one episode. We're going to be dropping the next episode on Wednesday. And that's going to be with the Rampart. The Rampart AR. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Leave a thumbs up. I've said that like a million times, but I really mean it. It helps the channel grow. Until next time, it's been your boy Jay Sizzle. I'm out. Peace. Love. And